Hi, we're Kaylee and Dan, a couple of travel vloggers from Australia. And recently, we visited Europe for the first time in three years. We started off our travels in sunny Spain. We have the Al Alhambra behind us and the mountains in the background. The whole Granada city. And then we travelled through the French countryside. And finally, we made our way to the incredible Swiss Alps. Hiking on mountaintops and through forests. So join us as we take you on a month of our European travels. We hope you enjoy the videos. Today's the day that we head to Spain. We've just done our last minute stuff and we're about to head out the door to drive to the train station to catch the train to the airport. In a few hours time, we'll be on a plane headed to Europe. It's been nearly three years since we've been overseas, which is unheard of for us. We need to get over there and we need to have some serious fun. And we're so happy to take you on this trip for the next four weeks. That's enough talking for now, let's go. First time traveling overseas in three years, guys. So excited. That's the coolest Maccas I've ever seen. When your McDonald's drops the bags down on a conveyor belt, like, this is the future. So tired. Thank you. made it to Madrid. Oh my god, after literally 24 hours of traveling, how do people do this again? Like, I've forgotten what it's like to travel for so long and for so far. Getting a flight from Australia to anywhere usually takes a long time, but when you do a trip to Europe like in one go with just one quick transit in Dubai, it's definitely a really long time and it's very taxing on your body. I feel like because we haven't done this for three years, it feels very new again. Familiar, but 
still new. The main thing is, is that we're here in Madrid now. It is warm, sunny weather. I think they said it was about 26 degrees. So I'm excited because we haven't had the best weather at home for a long time. This afternoon, we're really not sure what to do, to be honest, because our bodies are technically broken right now. <laughs> And we need sleep, but at the same time, we don't want to sleep for another number of hours. It's only like 3.30 p.m., maybe nearly 4 o'clock at the moment. So we kind of want to wait until we're at least around 9 p.m. before we fall asleep, just to help with any jet lag. We're very hungry, so I guess we're going to go out and get a bite to eat. But wow, I'm just like, I'm not used to this international travel anymore. And I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are just like us. <laughs> we're currently staying at the Novotel Madrid City Las Ventas. So this is the room. It's quite lovely and it's quite spacious as well which we weren't really expecting I mean it's only one night until we actually move a little bit closer in Madrid still in the Las Ventas area until tomorrow when we check out and move on to our next hotel <laughs> Good morning guys and welcome to our first full day in Madrid. We are actually about to scoot over to our next hotel. This was just basically our entry hotel for the night when we arrived in Madrid. So we're going to head over there now and then we're probably going to go book some train reservations for our URL pass because we've got a few trips that we're going to be making after the next week in Madrid ends. So we got to our hotel here yesterday at about 3, 3.30 p.m. and uh, we were quite buggered but we went and got some, uh, some food, just uh, some takeaway food from around the corner came back and ate it at our hotel and we were basically dead. We'd traveled for probably more than 24 hours if we total it all up and we were absolutely shattered. At one point I had to leave the room and head downstairs and go outside and just walk around for 10-15 minutes because here in the hotel room I was sitting around and I was starting to fall asleep and I did not want that to happen. It was probably only about 6 o'clock at that point so I went downstairs, walked around, got some fresh air for about 10-15 minutes, came back and that seemed to help and I did manage to stay awake until about 9 p.m. And then at about 9 9 p.m. I went into bed. It was still daylight outside. Uh, the sun wasn't setting till about 9.30. I'm not used to going and doing that trip like all in one go. Like wherever you travel from from Australia, it's always going to be a long trip. <laughs> but usually like if we go to Europe or if we've been somewhere long haul, we usually have like a couple of nights somewhere like as a stopover so it breaks up the trip. And I can just confirm now that that's always a good idea because doing it in one go with such a short transit time as well was extremely um, fatiguing. It was, is fatiguing a word? I don't know, but it was tiring. So it's about 9 a.m. now. We've been up for probably about three hours, I would say. Called our parents to let them know that we're all good and we're about to head down to the lobby to check out. And we're gonna head over to our new hotel, drop our luggage off and then we're going to walk around the city. We have no plans for today apart from buying some seat reservations for our trains. We're just gonna take a pretty easy walk around, take some photos and yeah, it should be a really nice day. I think the temperature was meant to get to a top of about 36 degrees Celsius, so it's gonna it's be a hot. nice warm <laughs> summer's day. It's extremely hot and apparently they've just issued a heat wave for Spain, so that's great. <laughs> We've come at the right time, but this is kind of the view from our hotel room at the moment. So it was a really nice day here and we're pretty much looking forward to getting to our next hotel and exploring Madrid. So we've been walking around the city for the last few hours. We just got some food and some coffee. Now we're at Park de El Retiro and we're just walking around at the moment and we're going to head down to the train station after this to buy some train reservations. So we went to the supermarket this morning, Kaylee bought a yogurt but then didn't realise she didn't get a spoon so now she has this little wooden stick that she's eating her yogurt with. It's pretty funny to watch. I didn't know the Spanish word for spoon and I was kind of not really wanting to buy a packet of like 800 spoons either so this was the next best idea at the moment. <laughs> So I'm just eating my yogurt with a stick now and it's delicious. <laughs> <laughs>
still 35 degrees. I think it's like four o'clock. We've just been into the Anthropology Museum, which was very interesting. <laughs> and it was actually quite small. So we really got through it in a pretty short amount of time. Probably yep. only about maybe an hour of that. We also spent about two hours in line trying to reserve our tickets for our trains coming up in the next week. It was literally like two hours. So that took a really long time and took up a lot of the time of today. Yeah. But now- It is a Saturday though. That's um, true. And I guess like it's such a busy time of year being it nearly getting into summer. If you can do any of your reservations beforehand, we definitely recommend doing that. Unfortunately, we weren't able to do that with Spain though with our URL pass. We just had to <laughs> bite the bullet and do it here, but it's all done now and we don't have to worry too much about reservations now. So now we're just going to head back to our hotel and check in, which we have not done yet. And we're just walking through the park that we went through this morning It's because it's about 10 degrees cooler. So it's, it's so nice. So beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. It's big too. here it's the NH hotel in Las Ventas quite a nice room but it is a little bit small but it's got quite a nice view which is kind of cool as you can see feels good to finally be sitting down it's been a really long and tiring day we've just made it to the hotel and I've just checked my phone and we've done about 23,000 steps so we basically walked all the way from here down to the main station here in Madrid and then back very long walk we probably should have caught the metro instead of walking but that's okay it's really good for our exercise but i think that we're just gonna go get some food or order some food in now and just have another really chill afternoon and night time i'm absolutely pooped as well it's also been so hot outside between 35 and 37 degrees all day so as you can just imagine it's been sweltering we've tried to stay in the shade as much as possible and went into a few air-conditioned places just to get a bit of relief from the heat next time on wonder walkers so today we're heading to Avida. you guys this has been the quietest day such a lack of tourists here it's incredible make sure you like and subscribe and click the notification bell to see all of our videos coming up soon thanks for watching